Peter. Hi, good Welcome. to be here. How are you feeling about having your very shiny blue Peter bed? It's good, it's so exciting. It's I looking feel like good. I've accomplished everything now. Yes, that's that everyone it. wants. Is it done? <laughs> Uh, now, for people who haven't watched your videos, can you tell us a little bit about you? Um, so I'm a disability advocate, um, raising awareness for Tourette's syndrome, which I have, which means that like I twitch a lot and I make a lot of noises, <laughs> um, and pandas, which isn't the bear, it's, a, hmm. it's an autoimmune disease. Okay, so yeah, definitely not the big cuddly one. Not, no, it's not, not that, that cute, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish it was. Now, you say that mental health is really important to you, so yeah. what makes you feel good? Um, I suppose art is a big one for me um, and my animals, animal therapy has always been like one of the best tools for me mm -hmm. um, and gymnastics as well is a big one. Yeah, so we're going to be doing art just now but what are we actually making? Um, so we're doing some mandalas on two paper plates. Okay. Um, I can see you've started already. You know, yeah. what, you know what you're doing. No, uh, your one is looking Those a lot loops. better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, what is a mandala? Um, so the, cl the classic mandala shape is like a circle. So okay. like this one, um, which I did at Whoa. home. So this one, I think this one took me probably like six hours or something in total. Wow. Um, so that's like a classic, what a classic mandala would look like. And it's like a Hinduism. Um, Buddhism symbol and it represents the universe. That is incredible. We're doing it on paper plates instead yeah. of a massive board So <laughs> everyone yeah. at home can get involved as well. Just grab a paper plate and some pens and we can get on with it Yeah, but how does mandala to help you like how does art really help your mental health? Um, well, I started drawing mandalas about eight years ago when I started becoming unwell when like my pandas was first starting um, and I found that when I was doing it, because you have to focus so much on like every little line and like every dot that I wasn't like thinking about anything that I was worried about or anything that was upsetting me or anything that I was stressed about. Cause you just totally forget about it when you're doing it. Do you have any tips for doing this? Are there any rules for making mandalas? There's no rules. You literally just do whatever you feel like doing. So like for these ones that I brought in, I was literally just totally winging it. I had no plan at all. I'm loving the fact that there's so much colour in this as well. Yeah. And there's a lot of black lines and things. But one thing that makes me feel really good is sport. So I do a lot of wheelchair racing and I think that that can give you some things to focus on as well. Um, and I really like going fast. It's really exhilarating. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of fun. But you do sport as well, uh right? Yes, I do. I'm a gymnast and I do a bit of contortion as well. Um, my parents put me into a gymnastics class when I was three years old. Three? Yeah, but I mean, you don't, I don't think you can even call it gymnastics at that age. It's literally just like rolling around <laughs> <laughs> with other three-year-olds. Like you're not really doing anything special and a few little jumps here and there. But I started properly doing it when I was about eight. That's when I started like competing. Um, and that's when we kind of realised that I was quite naturally flexible like it wasn't really something that I had to try to do I don't like tick when I'm in a gymnastics move either so like when I'm upside down I just stop ticking so it gives you a bit of a break yes definitely nice. <laughs> so we're gonna see some animals later in the show but Hello. you are a big fan of animals as well yeah uh, at the minute I've got two rabbits Bonnie and Charlie I've oh. got a very fluffy dog called Teddy um, a cat called Lottie who's 13 now and what else is there? Oh, a fish called tiger. Oh, <laughs> does it look like a tiger? No, <laughs> just the same colours, that's it. And I'm sure the viewers at home will relate to having pets of their own that make them feel good. I mean, I've got a dog called Tato and she is so great to have like a cuddle with and she just takes my mind off of absolutely everything. You give her yeah. a wee stroke and everything is right with the world. Absolutely. So what are mm. ticks mm. for you? Mm. Mm. Um, so ticks are involuntary movements and sounds. Um, so like that one there, that's called a motor tick, where my head goes back and it's motor because it's involving like muscles moving. Hey! <laughs> and then that's a vocal one, because obviously it comes out of your, your mouth, you use your vocal cords. Yep. And you um, can't help it, so it just no, comes out. No, it's totally involuntary. Um, but I've had them for like roughly seven, eight years now, so I'm quite used quite well. to them. Yeah. <laughs> It is part of your life, but they do calm down when you're making the mandalas and things. Yeah, massively. Yeah. But let's see yours. Look at mine. Now, everyone at home will have slightly more time than us, so they can yeah. take their time, enjoy it, colour it in however they want. Yes. But yeah. 
Um, I found it really relaxing. I'm really enjoying this. Even though it might not look as good as yours, Evie, I am very much enjoying it. It will do myself. when it's finished. Yes. Now, you're going to show us some contortion skills, aren't you? Yes, yeah. Okay, I really want to see this. I'm going to do one move called a needle. Ooh. Um, I think because of the shape of it, when you have your legs straight, you're kind of in the shape of a needle, oh. which I think is why. That's pretty cool. But don't try this at home, because Evie knows what she's doing. <laughs> OK. Whoa. Woo, woo. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. How can you like do that? Oh. Yeah. Woo! Incredible work. <laughs>